In this segment of the Slate tutorials, I'll demonstrate how to use the general interface of Slate. As soon as you log into Slate, from here you will notice that the first thing that you see are some types of reports. Now, those reports may change from time to time, and uh, just check the links. Now, on the top, this is where you have the main functions of this application. So here is where you can search for the database for records, and we'll get into that in just a moment. The next one here is where you can uh, check queries and reports, and those would be either queries that you create or quick queries or queries that are shared with you from uh, other users. Then next to queries, we have also the Slate Reader. The Slate Reader is what you'll use for evaluating the uh, applications. Under the Mailings tab, this is where you'll check the various mailings and campaigns that are designed to go out, obviously, if you're provided access to that module. You also have the Inbox component and the various snippets. The Inbox is where you can check for messages that have been assigned to you or messages that have not been assigned to you or other users. Then further to the right, provided that you have access to this module, you'll uh, notice the forms, events, and the scheduler module and the various database uh, components. Now here under Discover Slate, this is where you can also learn about various resources that are available in Slate, such as a knowledge base, community forums, and so on. At this point, let's just very quickly search. So here under the search component, we can type any part of a name of a user or a record and it should bring it up. And you simply click on the record and it will display a variety of pieces of information related to this record. And we'll get into this in a moment as well. So again, let me go back to search here. Then under search, notice that on the right hand side, here you can search for persons, and this is the default option. Then you can search for all the applications, scholarship modules, contacts such as uh, organization contacts related to schools, and then the actual organizations as well. Uh, another component to keep in mind here, this is uh, searches for various modules. On the top right, you also have the option to search for any of these modules in one comprehensive search. So if we want to search, for example, Neshamini, it will look through all the things, but yet it's going to find the Neshamini High School. If we search for my name here, notice that it's going to suggest various records, applicants, prospects, and other schools related similar to that name. Those are the main key elements here. So basically, these are the main components as you get started. In the next module, I'm going to go in depth as to how you search and, and uh, somewhat customize the view for your applicants.